Hey Monty, I'm sorry I'm using an iPhone for this. My uh, other video camera, the battery's just died and it's a little faster to do this. This is the front of uh, 15 North 4th Street. I'm going to do a really quick walkthrough and give you the quick, sort of a quick tour. Sorry for the video, but uh, uh, first on the outside, one of the repairs, uh, they put in interior beadboard instead of um, instead of uh, maybe a pressure treated um, screen down there and that's all that's rotting that's on the outside of the porch that's not a big deal but you really shouldn't screen water in under the porch this section of the property was built in 1857 the right hand side of the property as you look down the porch was built in the early 90s by Bowen Francis Tabor If you walk through, this is the entry to the older section. And I don't know if you can see the bottom of that uh, um, shelf over there, how it slopes downward. There are two bedrooms upstairs with low ceilings. There's a narrow stairway. I'm not going to walk up there. This is going to, the video is going to go a little long as it is, but um, maybe small artist studio areas. Then this old section. Still in this, there's a handicapped bathroom. Sorry about the power, the power's off here. There's a shower, a toilet, and a sink, but it looks like it's handicapped spacing. And then there's an air conditioning system. It actually does have a hydrostatic filter. Then as we pass here, here's a threshold, and you go into the newer section. If you go straight, that's where Bo and Francis uh, lived or had a separate residence or their area when they made this bed and breakfast. This other section I'm going to back up and then I'll start again, start the video again in just a minute. Um, as you walk back to the front door, if you were to come in from the front, this is what you would see. You'd see a large, it looks like probably 24 by maybe 22 foot wide retail space with high ceilings. Behind that wall up there is a bathroom and what was probably a bedroom at one time. I told uh, George that I would probably try to go through here and do maybe railings and a balcony that overlooks this downstairs area. But, and behind that wall, there's a stair. If you can move this section back to there, and make the entry into a handicapped bathroom there where the shower is. I think that would give you a lot more usable area. See here, that goes right through the wall into the hallway and then you'd still have your sink, toilet, and enough area if you made the wall right here. I don't know if it's worth your time to get the extra space, but at the very least it gives you more usable area. This stairway goes up to that little small area that I'd make into a balcony, and then a back door. That door I would take through here to the back. I don't know if it can be done, but I would try to make that door come out of that wall and use this carport area, which the carport, I'm guessing it's between six and 700 square feet. It's three garage bays, but that middle one's bigger than normal. All three of them are a little bigger than normal. Um, got a lot of small areas of deterioration, like see this? That's a railing that's been uh, sitting long enough that the nails have either rusted through, but it's, and the, you can see the door needs to be sanded and refinished. But the floors actually are fairly nice. They're a little rustic to begin with. This new section, see the, um, cabinets and built-ins, kitchen, if you can get an idea. There's a balcony or a, a, a um, I've forgotten the other word. It's basically a balcony that overlooks this area, then another bath uh, and a bedroom upstairs, but the areas up here have low ceiling. I don't know if you can see that. That's probably uh, probably a less than a seven foot ceiling. It's probably six foot six, maybe six foot five. It's not real high. Anyway, uh, let me run back down. Then you can see 
This is the master that was downstairs that you went by, sort of in that hallway. And then this was the master bedroom. That was master bath. This is master bedroom. There's a beam here in the middle. I'm not sure what that originally was. There are no windows here. So you're actually seeing this. You're seeing what's here. If I walk outside, right across the street, or out, out through this, um, um, outside parking area is the library. And you can see public parking. And you can see the back of the building. And as you go back to the back of the building, uh, my building adjoins this. And you can get a general idea of, um, get a general idea of how the two buildings are connected. Uh, the roof lines are shared, or it's not shared, but the, your roof is flashed up to my building. If you were to buy this, I don't have a problem with that. It's just you need to know this is probably the least clean section of the flashing, but you can see that's the red part's my building. The metal roof is this one. And I'll give you a call later to see if you had a chance to look. Thanks.